Tonight, we're looking at some of the ridiculous stories that have been related to the January 6th insurrection. Some of the people are so ridiculous, we don't actually think people can tell a real story versus one we made up. It's a game we'll play a few times here on Open Mic. So we put two of our comedy friends to the test, Nathan Love and Natalie McGill, to see if they could spot a real Capitol riot story or a fake one. The first one, Capitol Rioter admits to two new felonies while representing himself in a bond hearing. That's real. Uh, I'm going to say that's real. The representing himself is the giveaway. That is, in fact, real. Congratulations. Uh, yes. You are both one for one. <laughs> Lawyer for a Capitol Riot defendant claims his client is blind, then walks out of the courtroom without help. I want that to be true so badly. I want it. It's false. <laughs> if you had said that one first, I may have gone true. But because there's been too many trues, I'm going to go false. Oh, you're treating this like the SATs. Like, it's, it's been too many Bs. I got to get, it looks like B, but it can't be B a third time in a row. It can't. What do you got, Natalie? Woo! Oh, I, I think it's, I, I don't think, I think it's false. That is it's, false. It's too good to be true. Correct. That is, in fact, false. Next, an Indiana woman calls the Capitol riot, quote, the best day ever before her arrest. I think that's true because I know there was, this is not the same person, but I know there was some person who made the news for wearing a, a, an I was there shirt or something like he had his own merch <laughs> or something connected to it. Yeah. So I don't, I don't put it past a woman to do this. Uh, yeah, I, I don't care if it's true or not because I'm from Illinois and one of the defining traits of an Illinoisan is a <laughs> hatred of Indiana. So true, she said that. True. <laughs> that is that is true. That is, yes. in fact, true. Congratulations. Uh, you guys are killing it. Next, Virginia man who posted feeling cute might start a revolution on Facebook pleads guilty in the Capitol riot. I don't know. I think I. I think I might go false on this one just because I don't know. I, I, I just doubt like their their use and their knowledge of like overused memes and <laughs> I don't you know, know. I'm, I'm feeling spicy true that's what I think and Nathan takes this one it is in fact ah! true very well done <laughs> very well done and congratulations to Nathan Luff. That, by the way, is the first win that an Orioles fan has experienced since May. You can catch Natalie at the DC Comedy Loft on November 11th through the 13th. And follow Nate on social media to catch his latest videos, Nathan underscore Luff on Twitter and at It's Your Nate Mate on Instagram.